Hi, this is Brad. A little while ago, I sharpened this knife after it was brand new and I tuned it up a little bit. And then I dulled it. And I don't think we got it on live on, on uh, video. So we're going to do it again. Okay, knife cuts like that. Show us how you it. sharpen it first. Let's okay. see. Okay, sharpen it like this. There's a corner right there, corner right there. Match the bevel on the blade, 12 to 14 degrees. Turn it a little bit, begin to brush the blade with about an ounce of pressure or less. First comment. Just like that, just like this, just like that, like this, like that. Okay, maybe I'm out today and all I have is the little one in my pocket, no big difference, just like that. So let's see what we got here for sharp. Okay, that's pretty sharp. Kind of thick paper. Okay, this is what makes me just cringe. Take that knife and go across the back of another knife, just like that. That's probably <laughs> harder on your blade than you would be on your blade. <laughs> like I said, that just pains me. Okay, that's not going to work. It, do, uh, do a skin test or something. Uh, okay, that's dangerous because when you go clear across your hand, if it catches, that's going to be a bad cut. So let's fix it. I'm going to do it with the little guy. Okay? It's going to be just like this. Right on around. Bench made is very hard steel. Just like that. I'm going to cut it back to the original bevel, about 12 to 14 degrees. Right on around. Do it again on this side. Do it on this side. Okay. Now, just like this. Don't push too hard. Let it work. Don't make it work. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's different paper. That's the same paper. You've got to love my sharpener. Learn how to use it. It really does work. Do you have an absolutely pristine, smooth mirror image or finish on your knife? No. Working blade? Absolutely. Sharp? Yeah. It takes a really long time to screw up your blade my way. And if it really irritates you, every four or five months just fix it with a wet stuff. But you know what? I'm going to hold still. And you look, the factory grind is still on that blade. This is Brad, live. This is funny, we've only done this twice. Once from Hawaii, once a little while ago from here, and this time, this is Brad, sharpensbest.com, Denver Tanner Gun Show at the Merchandise Mart on 58th Street or Avenue. I just don't know. Okay, it's a little bit north of I-70 where you head east or west. This is Brad. You take care. Have a good day. Thanks for the comments. Hey, last comment was great sharpeners. Maybe someone has a, a – hey, does anyone out there have a question for Brad? Let's see if anyone comes. Here, go do, do your thing, do your thing, Brad, and we'll see if anyone has a question okay. for you. You can make knives like that after doing this one. This is a brand spanking new bench maker. You don't usually do this to knives. But if you do that to the back of another knife, that is not easy on the knife that I'm doing it with. Okay. And now we're going to use the little guy here. We can figure the blade a little bit, sharpen it back up, cut a little bit of that roll over edge off. Like this, go right on around. Hey Brad, your sharpeners are so good. That's what this this customer just said. Uh, <laughs> I'll just buy one and go. <laughs> I've heard the story. I owe you a bottle. Yeah. This guy wants to know if he can make his own. Make your own sharpener? <laughs> of course you can. You got to find the right carbide. Then you got to grind it to 90 degree corners. Then you have to silver solder it to a handle. Yes, you can make your own, but you got to grind them right or you don't have a 90 degree, perfectly 90 degree corner on there and it won't cut right. So yes, you can make your own sharpener. All right, let's make this one sharper again. Just like that. By the way, there's an inside radius, outside radius and tip. When I do this, I don't even, I don't feel any radius on the knife. It's so easy to sharpen. Come back this way, out that way. Hey Brad, like Brad Cole wants to know, do, do you like sharpening knives? <laughs> do I like sharpening knives? Uh, you like ice cream? You like chocolate? You like cake? You like pizza? You like spending money? Especially when you have enough to just go in and spend. Yeah, yeah I like sharpening knives. Yeah. Someone asked our website's down again, Brad. They want to know where they can get one right now. 
Oh, you can't. <laughs> okay, you go to uh, uh, sharpensbest at gmail.com. You can pay with uh, PayPal, all right? That, you're going to give uh, your name, your address, stuff like that. Pay with PayPal, and we'll send them out to you. Uh, with extras. Pardon, with extras, yes. As a little thank you for going through the trouble to get the sharpeners now, we'll put a free gift in with your order. Hey, what stone grid is best for polishing blades? Uh, well, that would be a two or four or six thousand grit, but I don't have grit. All I got is a corner. So what I do to make up for the grit is I just lighten up on the pressure or add to the pressure. So when I first start, I use about maybe an ounce and a half or two ounces. When I'm polishing the blade, I touch it as light as I possibly can. That's how I adjust the grit. Without having grit, all I got is a corner sticking out there. This is Brad Buckner. You take care. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you get that at the very end? Just yeah. the guy.